My work is an effort to provide a foundation that fully recognizes the richness of African intellectual and political resources. I'm Derek Peterson. I'm a historian of East Africa. I work on the infrastructure of public culture and of politics in East Africa, especially in Kenya and Uganda. As an undergraduate, I spent a year in Kenya learning Swahili, which is an East African language, and Kikuyu, which is a Kenyan language. And I was so confused, really, in learning Kikuyu about why it was that different dictionaries gave different definitions for words, why it was that over time it seemed as though words' meanings had changed. In the end, that experience of confusion is what led me to the study of the history of Kikuyu languages, uh, because I became interested in the ways in which language change reflects changing, the changing architecture of public argument. For me, as a scholar, it's important to be able to recognize and study and appreciate the wide range of material in African languages in order to fully develop a picture of the arguments and debates that people have within their own languages and the complexity of those debates which are often much more rich and fertile and deeply felt than the kinds of arguments that people have in imported languages. In the early 2000s, I started working largely in Uganda, working on a book about the East African revival. As I poked around, I came to realize that in many attics and basements and sheds around government buildings, there were piles of paperwork that were the archives, really, of local district governments. I found files and files full of complaints. I found records of police investigations. I found tax records. I found property assessments. In other words, lots and lots of papers from uh, the mid-20th century onward that help illuminate the character of local politics in Uganda's history. Many of the district archives that I've been working in have been pretty poorly kept. District governments haven't had the capacity particularly to deal with them. So my colleagues and I have worked together to rehabilitate the district archive. Over the course of the years, uh, we have digitized four different district government archives, which has resulted now in something like 500,000 individual scans, making it the biggest digitized collection of government documents in Africa, as far as we know. I've been recruiting teams of Michigan students along with students from a number of African universities to uh, rescue and organize and catalog. Having students from African institutions involved in these projects is vitally important. With African colleagues, it becomes much more generative and, uh, and grounded within a field of interest that's shaped by Ugandan priorities. <laughs>